down. I'm joined by um, not just one of the best writers and stuff in the game and best journalists and all that stuff, but one of the few people that I actually really enjoy reading on Twitter and everything else. The passion of the wise is Jeff Wise up here. What's good, sir? What's going on? Good to be here. What's your thoughts on Riff Raff? Because I get, because we've been putting out these like Riff Raff ski mixes every week and stuff, and I get a whole new crazy group of fans that have never heard of me, yeah. which is great. And then I get a bunch of my fans that already know that are like, what the hell are you doing working with him? And then there's obviously the combination. What, what's your thoughts on just Riff Raff? You know, you watch those videos. You probably break it down way better than me. He's, well, first of all, he's funny. And yes. at the end of the day, he's a very funny guy. I think Action Bronson had a great tweet where he was uh -huh. like, he is more entertaining than you. And at the end of the day, you know, rap, sure. rap is art. Rap is also entertainment. You know, the best is one, yeah, man. the two. I mean, and, and Riff, you know, look, you can listen to something like Bird on a Wire and you, it's like, there's something undeniable. And whether you like it. every one of his songs, I feel like, you know, also when I interviewed, when I did the story on him, I, I talked to Dirt Nasty about it. And he's sure. like, if you listen to his voice, there's a certain like octave that he hits. Like he has like an easy E thing where it just yeah. cuts through the beat. And that's like, you know, that's the difference between a lot of rappers. You know, Guru himself said it's mostly the voice, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he's got a good voice. It's Paul, Paul Wall with a better sense of humor. Now, what do you think Riff Raff is going to end up what do you think his career is going to go? Because uh, shout out to the homie Diplo who's, who's signed him and is putting out his project and stuff. And I've uh, heard some good music music from Riff. What do you think, what do you think is going to happen with Riff Raff over the next year? And how are we going to look back on him? Where is Riff Raff going to place in that? I mean, he's a man of his time, you know? Like, he's got all those tattoos. He's got the World Star tattoo. He's got the MTV <laughs> tattoo. He's got the BET tattoo. The funniest thing I remember him saying was when I was like, I asked him, and this is how you know that Riff, there's, there's, he's a smart dude. And you're like, well why do you have uh, the BT count, you know, mm -hmm. tattoo? And he just looks at me point blank and he's like, cause I'm going to be on the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, how can you argue with that? And I, you know, I think, look, there's a lot of artists, you know, since I, I think yeah. it probably goes back to like Lil Wayne where you're like, you, you remember like there was this yeah, big man. debate, Lil Wayne, oh, he doesn't have a classic album. This is before Carter three came out. And you know, I, yep. I, for me, Carter two is his best, but I agree. Uh, so basically he, you know, he had so many mixtape tracks and if you go through every mixtape, you're like, well, not everything's great. But if you put together a, a greatest hits of Lil Wayne from 2005 oh to 2008, God. it's lights out. I think if you put together a greatest hits of Riff Raff from the last couple of years. Dude, he has so many records. I'll still go back and li like, whether you, like, you can't deny like his hooks and stuff are catchy. He has some great lines and verses, even on the Hot 97 freestyle, yeah. he had some bars. It's like, great freestyle. And like, look at Larry he Bird. Freestyles I shot too. dice with Larry Bird in Barcelona. I mean, that's a great line. Like how many yes. rappers can come up with a line that good?